Jack and the Leprechaun Written by Ivan Robertson Illustrated by Katie Bratton Jack Mouse was invited to a very special St. Patrick's Day party. It was far away from his home. Welcome to Ireland, his cousin Sean said. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Jack was happy to be there. He'd come a very long way. There will be music, dancing, and lots of food at the St. Patrick's Day party, said Sean. And there will be plenty of new things to see and do. Maybe if we're really lucky, someone might even catch Liam the Leprechaun this year. Who is Liam the Leprechaun? asked Jack. Every St. Patrick's Day, Liam the Leprechaun appears with a pot of gold in one hand and a stout oak club called a shillelagh in the other, said Sean. If someone catches him, he has to give them his pot of gold. But nobody has caught him yet. So keep an eye out, cousin. When they got to the house, Aunt Brid and Uncle Fergal were very happy to see Jack, and so were all his cousins. Seed meal filled day, they cried. That's Gaelic for a hundred thousand welcomes, explained Aunt Brid. Gaelic is the oldest language in Ireland. Oh, said Jack, thank you. We have a very important job for our very important guest, Aunt Brid said. You need to fill this basket with shamrocks. The three-leaved shamrock plant is the symbol of St. Patrick himself, and we couldn't have a party without it. Jack went into the woods to look for shamrocks. He looked and he looked, but he didn't see any shamrocks at all. They must be around here somewhere, thought Jack. He went deeper and deeper into the woods. The woods got thicker. The woods got darker. Jack was about to give up when he looked at the ground and saw shamrocks everywhere. He would have his basket filled in no time. Tee hee hee! To ho ho! What was that? asked Jack. He looked around but he didn't see anything. Tee hee hee, to ho ho. There was that sound again. Jack turned and saw a little man with a red beard in a green suit and a green hat. And the little man had a wooden club in one hand and a pot of gold in the other. That must be Liam the Leprechaun, Jack thought. That pot of gold will be mine if I catch him. But with a tee-hee-hee and a to ho ho Liam sprinted away. Hey, Jack yelled, hold on. Jack ran after him as fast as he could. Jack chased Liam the leprechaun out of the woods. He chased him across the fields, over the streams, and all the way back to the village. Jack jumped over a wall, and suddenly... I was trying to catch a leprechaun, Jack said. Leprechauns? Faith and Begora, Uncle Fergal laughed. Don't you have better things to do today than chase after imaginary creatures? Don't you even know what today is? It's St. Patrick's Day. March 17th is the day of the biggest celebration of Ireland, continued Uncle Fergal. Now enough with this foolishness. Come with me. But, Jack began, Uncle Fergal didn't even hear him. The whole town's getting ready for St. Patrick's Day, said Uncle Fergal. There's Mrs. Murphy baking the traditional soda bread. 
and that's Mr. O'Brien getting the children ready for the parade. Miss Fitzgerald is knitting a special green sweater. Green is the national color of Ireland, you know. But what about leprechauns? asked Jack. What about pots of gold? Ah, you silly mouse, said Uncle Fergal. There are no such things as leprechauns. But then, out of the corner of his eye, Jack saw Liam. There he is, Jack yelled as he raced away. Tee-hee, to-ho-ho, sang Liam the leprechaun. Then suddenly Liam tripped and fell. Gotcha, said Jack as he grabbed Liam's arm. But the leprechaun just laughed. Why, Jack, don't you recognize your own cousin? Jack looked closer. It wasn't Liam at all. It was his cousin, Sean. Before he knew it, Jack was laughing, too. Suddenly, Sean stopped laughing. We're late for the party, he said. And I still have to get the shamrocks, Jack said. Let's go. Off they ran, picking as many shamrocks as they could find along the way. When they got to the house, the party was just starting. There was music and dancing and lots of food. The mayor played the traditional St. Patrick's Day song, Danny Boy, on his harp, and everybody clapped. Just before the sun went down, there was a knock at the door. There on the front steps was a surprise. It was the next best thing to a pot of gold. It was a pot of cheese from Liam the Leprechaun. Happy St. Patrick's Day!